Geray geray kim ol? Anyone home? G'day guys, I'm looking for Paul Compton. Oh, yeah, sorry mate. I've, I've come a long way to see you buddy. Oh cool. There you go. Hello. Is it Steve? It's Dave. <laughs> oh right. It's Dave. It's Dave. <laughs> can I take this off now? You can now. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys and uh, yeah, welcome to another adventure and another vlog. Um, this is early morning, we were all, well I slept in the van for uh, about two hours, Denise didn't get any sleep. We've got Simon here, we've got Owen here who you saw probably Sunday evening and I've just had uh, Gary which you uh, know from the past if you've been following me for a while and he's brought Paul Downey with him as well uh, not met Paul before so yeah I know he's a pretty good photographer well he pretends to be anyway so uh, let's see what he's like when under fair game and we've got to meet this young gentleman here Mr Dave Thomas oh, Dave Thomas I'm used to his names as you all know Dave Thomas has traveled all the way from Australia just to meet me. Absolutely. It's not the fact that he's been here three weeks. He actually came all the way just to meet me. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, it's an absolute pleasure to meet him. So I'll shake your hand again. We're going to now take him. Much. We're going to take him in this lot up there. Uh, we're at Mam Tour, um, and the sun's coming up a lot quicker than what we're getting ready. And uh, we've got a slight cloud inversion down in the valley as well. So uh, quite looking forward to get to the top and see what we can make of this. This is a vlog. You will be seeing this on Wednesday, hopefully, if I've had time to put it all together. This is for my 50th birthday. Um, my plans were I was going to be meeting Dave here and Denise decided that she was going to make a bit of a surprise. And I've got Simon and Owen and possibly someone else in the car over there um, that's just turned up. So uh, yeah, the good lady wife there has arranged a few people to meet me here so uh, yeah let's get to the top of this hill and uh, try and get a camera set up and come with us let's go We just started and it's getting a bit warm. We've just got another one turned up, Paul. See, the devious Mrs. C is up to her plans. She keeps looking at me with her funny smile on and I know she's up to something then. <laughs> so yeah, Paul Hill, we all know Paul Hill, I'm sure you have if you follow me. So uh, yeah, another one to join the gang. Let's see, we're at the bottom of the tour now and uh, we're just about to head up that way. So the hat came off, got a bit warm, but yeah, this cloud inversion down there really is settling in now. So we've all got to make it to the top before it all, the light kicks off properly. And the moon behind is just fantastic. You can see it there, look at that. It's just, we haven't got time to get the camera out and play with that. But it looks really, really cool. The bigger the bigger the moon, or the blah, 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 start again. The moon looks bigger, the closer it gets to the horizon. It looks pretty good. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up. We've got to get it to the top of this hill. We're just marching up at the moment, heading up, heading up the side of Mam Tour. It's quite a, quite a bit on the legs and the old heart rate when you literally can jump straight out of the van or the car and start making your way up hills taking it out of us a bit but we're getting there Denise is looking after Dave because we just found out that Dave's 70 years old wow. how amazing is that so yeah not only has he traveled all the way to Australia and he's been in Cyprus for a week came back from Cyprus yesterday on the plane which was Saturday afternoon and he came straight up here for meeting us this morning. So yeah, really top bloke. And well done Dave, thanks for coming. 
like I say, it's really nice to see these guys. And I've got a funny feeling there's going to be a few more. But this cloud inversion really is the icing, I think, on the cake. Because I've wanted to see this for a long, long, long time. Probably one of the first views, knowing it's quite local to me. Uh, sort of 45 miles, I think, this from home. So, yeah, one of the things I wanted to see for a long time. So, yeah, I'm going to get it today. And there's a cement mill down in the bottom, and you've probably seen hundreds of photographs from Mam Tour and the valley of, I think it's Castleton, something like that. And uh, yeah, perfect picture. All we've got to do is get to the top, oh find the gates, and get set up. Oh, and this is really hard work on the legs. <laughs> Simon's behind me, I can hear him panting as well behind me. Oh, geez. We're getting there. I can't believe I'm 50 in three days. <laughs> Things I do for you guys, eh? Right, we're at the top. We made it. We're at the top. And look, this nice little glow that's coming on my face. The light's coming up over there, so we've got to the top before the sun's come up. Um, we're all snapping this at the moment. We cannot miss the opportunity to get a picture of that. Um, it's actually dissipating already. It's gone down quite a bit since we're you know, on the way up. But yeah, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic to get a shot like this. I've been wanting this for a long, long time. So yeah, and we've got another guest. Look at this, they're all turning up now. I'm going to be people all over the place. And all I've got to do is try and remember everyone's name now because you all know what I'm like with names. And we've been out and done a collab together. So. How did you get your name wrong? <laughs> yeah, you did get my name wrong. Yeah, yeah. This is not Paul Johnson. <laughs> so yeah, all good. All good. Is that my camera making noise or yours? Oh, it is. It's always is making noise. So yeah, I might uh, pull out the big lens. I'm just waiting for the good lady wife down there to get Dave to the top. And Owen's flagging today. I think he's flagging a little bit. He's had, a, had to sleep in the boot of his car all because of me, which is not nice, is it? So, all good. All I want though, all I want to see is who's brought me cake? Who's got me cake? That's all I want to know. I'm sure Gary brought me cake. No. <laughs> Here she is, look. Miss Devious herself. Mrs. C, the devious one. She's quite proud of herself. I think well, I'm quite proud is. of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all thanks to her that all these guys are up here. Yeah, so it's um, been a, it's, it's pretty good. This is going to be a morning to remember for a long, long time. So you don't get many 50th birthdays, do you? So this is pretty, pretty good. <laughs> She's a good girl, isn't she? She really does do well for me. <laughs> and she brought Gary some pie, believe it or not. The famous, elusive Mrs. Compton's pie. Bless. This is wicked. This it really is cool. So I've got a big smile on my face this morning. Even though I'm quite chilly, I might have to put my hat back on. We're out with a Fuji today as well. Let's just mention this. We're out with a Fuji. We had the cannon out yesterday, so I thought I'd give the Fuji a bit of a run for the money. Um, and uh, I do know I've got a little present. So uh, it's actually in her bag. I know what it is because she didn't know what to get me, so I told her what to get me, <laughs> or advised. You need to stand there and look out until Stand there and look out, around. right, okie doke, yeah, fair enough. Right. I've got to do I've got to do what I'm told now, I've got to stand and look out until I've done what I'm told, so let me, let me just put this down. Let me put this down somewhere. Let me put this down, I'll tell you what, let me make you a bit longer.
<laughs> Most people will, wouldn't they? I've just run down to the end of there and got Paul to press the shutter for me to get myself my little classic selfie. And I'm assuming, let's have a quick look, see what it looks like. I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty awesome. Oh yeah, wicked. Um, just a little tiny spot on me and all this vastness in the distance. Let's take a couple more as it comes. As the light's changing, the light's not quite made it yet. It's still, we're still thinking about it, but it's definitely on its way. I've got no idea what this is gonna do, apart from the fact that it will be lighting all this side uh, across the valley. And it should, if I think, if I'm right, it'll hit the side of the, uh, uh, not slate, is it? The brick? Uh, cement. Cement, cement works, works, yeah. I know what I meant. I've just been down there, I just said to Paul, I used to be able to press a shutter where the sheep where there's a load of sheep on here. I said, there's a bit of sheep wall down there. He said, no, not sheep, sheep wall, sheep, sheep, sheep fur, a bit of sheep fur down there, a great big chunk. Does he mean wall, he says. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. But yeah, you know me, I'm, you know what I'm like. Simon's about to get his drone out, so I think I might get mine out quickly while we've got the nice opportunity to do it and get a little bit of this on the, on the old drone and just get a picture of everybody up on the tour. But this is, yeah, this is really good. I don't even care about the photography, I really don't. Um, but I will tell you what I'm doing because this is at the end of the day a photography channel. I've come down off the top, there's a tour just there, the, the trig point at the top. I walk down towards the edge and you've got this lovely, lovely chunk sticking out there. Absolutely fantastic. So we're using that as just to key you out from the bottom. Key you out, just to lead you out from the bottom of the image. Um, it's early, I'm talking rubbish, aren't I? But yeah, the, the hillsides come around, point you out into the cloud inversion. Um, I'm at 18 mil, which is probably about 24 on this. Um, so yeah, it's quite nice. And the drone's alive. After its major crash yesterday, it did nearly, it took me out, nearly came across, it, it went mental on us. Um, I didn't video it, but I did get it on my phone. So check out my Facebook page and you'll see the clip on the phone from when he rescued it. But yeah, it's alive and it's flying. And it looks all right, thank God for that. But it did, it came flying at me. I had to duck, it went over the top of my head. It hit the tree behind me, spun round and went across the river and landed on the bank on the other side of the river after hitting the bank. And yeah, they, they managed to rescue it just about and it survived. So yeah, they're hardy little things, aren't they? But yeah, this is fantastic. Anyway, image, image wise, uh, bottom left hand thirds, cloud inversion, top right hand thirds. And that's as simple as that. I'm not even going to mess around too much this morning. I just want to get a picture of the cloud inversion. And the world, as soon as the sun comes up and changes, the, the classic shooting down, whatever those hills are called. Paul's the man, he knows all the names of the hills and stuff around here. We've got Winnets Pass just over, where are we? This, this bit just there, where are we? That there, that's Winnets Pass. I've actually done a wild camp over there, which you've not seen yet. So I will try and get that out, it's from last year. Um, but yeah, Winnets Pass, if you've not been over this side of the woods, then that is a fantastic little, valley chasm or whatever you want to call it uh, the ice age has obviously dragged that out and it is fantastic from over there really sharp and gnarly proper good so yeah this is all we're going to do at the moment shoot this if i change composition i'll, I'll you know give you a shout and uh, show you what we're doing but all it's going to do is somewhere around this edge just using this line and all this cliff face in front of me just as a, a foreground interest on the base of the photograph and then the uh, cloud inversion and the cement works over in the distance I might put a long lens on as well, just pick out a few little detail shots, I think, while I'm here. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? So, uh, yeah, and I'm going to get my drone out, so back in a bit.
know this has got to be done. But John's got his camera out, and we're going to go and gate crash him. Before I get any annoying people coming and getting in my face. Gate crashed! There you go, too late. <laughs> you know what I'm like, we can't let anyone away with a video. And if he's got his video and he's vlogging, if he's vlogging, <laughs> then that's it. Dave's just had a heart attack because I'm jumping around on the edge of the cliff, which is only there, look, it's not far. But yeah, are you vlogging? Oh, sorry, I've upset him. <laughs> he oh, just, I, he, I didn't think I was going to get away with it, did you? There's a big drop down there, mate. There is a big drop down there, yeah. Yeah, poor Dave. This is, well, let's introduce you to Dave. Let's introduce you to Dave properly now. We've got some daylight on him. This here he is. This is the guy. All the way from Aussie land. And, um, yeah, he's never seen a cloud inversion, have you? Never seen one in my life. Never absolutely. seen a cloud inversion, so he's awesome. absolutely made up with this. Albeit a little bit cold. Absolutely he's stoked. chilly, wearing me coat, bless him. Look, keeping him warm. Too right. And uh, we don't get this every day, no. but uh, it's, it's, this is really special, to be honest. This is just awesome. It is good, isn't it? When you see your first, you know, when you first see it, I remember the first time I saw one, I'm like, oh my God, how amazing is that? Oh, but this is pretty special for me, in all fairness. And I'm just waiting for that sun to go behind that cloud and that then it'll pop a little pop what i'm liking in the distance it, yeah. is the zigzags over there in the distance right, i like yeah. all that so it's beautiful yeah it's really good i'm not even concentrating on my camera i'm concentrating on everybody else this morning i say now i've gate crashed his video and he's still going there look bless him oh, no i'm gonna do it again <laughs> he's doing it again he's gonna cut me out you better not you better not <laughs> this is just he's thinking about it i'm not putting him off or anything <laughs> <laughs> you know, Paul, I've hardly slept in a couple of days and this it just makes it all worthwhile. It does, it yeah. It's does. it's one of those things it's that when you awesome you have a bit of a lack of sleep. Absolutely. It's to be rewarded awesome. it's it really does it's pay just off. Stunning. And I must compliment you on Mrs. C. She is She's awesome. a diamond, isn't she? Yeah, I know. I get, I get comments, don't I? You guys comment all the time how lucky I am. She comes out and me, puts up with me and uh, all the stuff. She's just brought chocolates down as well. She so she's she is she's awesome. brilliant, absolutely brilliant. She really does put up with me and I'm a hard person to put up with as you probably already know. Nah. So yeah, let's switch this off and um, I'm gonna carry on chopsing. See you in a bit. I thought I'd switch you back on and let you all know what we're doing. I've got the um I got me 55, 200, I think it is. Um, been shooting some little detail shots. The light now is is just side sweeping right across the the cloud inversion, and it's it's just hanging around and just sticking and sitting there. It's just really nice. But you got these lovely now little glowy bits. It's really really quite pretty. It's casting some nice long shadows across it, and the light just swiping across is really really quite nice. So yeah, it's been a, I'm going to repeat myself and repeat myself. It's been a fantastic little morning. A few guys have gone down that way. Um, Dave was just saying, as you as you already heard when I had the camera out just now, that he's never seen a cloud inversion, so he's made up. He's just sent a picture all the way back to Australia to show his mates and show them, get them all wound up and jealous. But yeah, this is fantastic. I think what we're going to do, I might just I might get me drone out. I just promised we'd get him drone out a minute ago. I might just get me drone out and have a quick fly while the lights on everything, and then we're going to have a little bit of walk down down the pathway towards the gate post. Um, the sun's probably not ideal, but it might go behind a bit of a cloud, which if it, do, which if it does, it's going to look pretty cool. Um, but at the moment, the sun's directly in your face for that classic shot. So we will, we're going to move down, and this might end up one of them long vlogs. I'm hoping not, because I'm only going to try and get this out for you for Wednesday, um, which hopefully you are watching it on Wednesday. So uh, yeah, I might shut up and I'll make this just half a second slower than it would normally be. So yeah, catch you in a bit. I'll switch it back on just very very quickly one shot i've just noticed the lights just changed and it's there's a mound in the middle and it's uh lighting the mound up in the middle and it's really really quite nice and in front of it the clouds have come a little bit higher now um i'm just gonna snap another one oh, i can't focus where are we there we go just hit the shutter 
There she goes. These Fujis are noisy, aren't they? Yeah, the light's hitting the side of it, so it's lighting up that little mound in the middle. But you had these little row of trees that was like a little Z curve, a little S curve, leading you into the mound. So I think that'll work really, really nice. That's probably probably my second favourite one from this morning. Um, and there's little bits of cloud inversions going on over there as well now, where the sun is over that way. She, she really did wind up the perfect. She's got dealings with Lord, Lord himself to get this. Right, that's it, quiet, shush, let's get on with it. Enjoy these photographs. Right, I've just been summoned up to the top, up to the trick point. Get, Denise has gathered everybody up here, so I've been summoned to the top. I wonder what for? <laughs> Let's see what she wants, eh? Yeah. You're going to a shelter in it. Happy birthday to you. you I've got cake! <laughs> you belong in the zoo. You can blow it out. <laughs> <laughs> just out watching it. Is that why your bag you. so for the weekend? Yeah. I was down to two matches. Two matches. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and show me audience. Get go and show me public. Show your fans <laughs> Check this out. How cool is that? I think uh, I think Owen. That's why we were struggling coming up the hill. Owen was the secret carrier of the of the cake of baggage. <laughs> so yeah, perfect. Just need to chump a bit on this and uh, let's get out of this mist because as you can see around us. This lovely blue sky and this nice clouds and everything we had has suddenly disappeared. We're now all in uh, mist and fog and it's uh, rolling in quite thick as well. In fact, I can't see anything behind us whatsoever, but yeah, we've got cake. And what's, a, what's 50 anyway? It's just a number at the end of the day. Get out there, enjoy yourself and uh, have some fun and find some friends to have fun with as well. These guys are absolutely brilliant getting up this morning because it's been an early morning. So yeah, I'm going to stop this video now because it's probably already way too long. And thanks to all of you watching, and I'm sure you're going to wish me happy birthday. I oh, don't worry if you don't, you know, you can, you can be horrible and miserable. I really don't care. It's just a fun day out, a fun morning out. And hopefully I've got a few good images as well. And to be honest, I'm sure, yeah, there's a couple of absolute corkers. So yeah, thanks to the wife. Thanks to Owen for carrying this. Thanks to everybody here that's turned up and I'll show you them all. They're all here. And we've got a low flying aircraft and I'm going to go and eat me cake. Till next time. Ciao. Have fun. Bye bye. Three slices in. It was that or, or, or a grad filter. Oh, oh well, the cake. <laughs> oh. No, 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 I meant to cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having the first bit. Just Mine. Come and break a piece off. Oh, <laughs> I won't. I won't cut it with the. Why don't I use a credit card? I'm watching you wait. I'll use it. Good thinking, Batman. I haven't got mine. Go. Yeah. Mine's in my. Pulls is too bouncy, so it won't go. Gonna use a credit card. Don't cut cake with any old thing, you know. Knife, smife, credit cards. <laughs> 
catch you. I tell you what, that's better than the other ground. The candles keep warm. Here's my stuff. I've got, um, actually, I've got, I've got a. Got a uh, no, what's that one? Well, you can't do. Got what? Not a driving Hobby license. Hobbycraft code. <laughs> 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 there you go. Who else wants some? Right, we need nine pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cutting the cake with a driving license. <laughs> Australian driver, there you go. <laughs> yeah, not just any old driver. Oh, no, mate. This is. No. Uh, well, this is because Paul is special. You get your vlogs. <laughs> 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 we'll be on one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Seven. Denise, just leave that one on top of the cake, right? Just leave that one on top of the cake. Is it a nickel? <laughs> <laughs> right, there folks, come and grab a piece Thank of cake. You. First come gets the big piece. I've already <laughs> had one, I should have waited. <laughs> Which is a big piece. Get a big piece. Too late, guys. Excuse me. Eight.